Hi everyone, this is Danny for Cupcakes Gourmet again. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna make this little baby lion. It's perfect for a topper, for a baby shower, for a party favor, whatever you need. Before we start the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the button for with the bell so you get all the notifications and new videos. All my social media is up there if you're looking for. And I have my list of my videos all down there in Portuguese and English, new ones, old ones and you can look and go through because there's a lot of cool things there so we're gonna start our little lion using the yellow and i'm gonna make this like long teardrop shape and tap on my table just to be sure that it's gonna stand still like really good and we're gonna cut this little top part of it just to be sure that the head's gonna sit right there really easy. And now we're gonna make a little circle and flat it a little bit out to start making the head. So the head's not really perfect circle, it's kind of like more like an oval of the flat bottom shape, if that makes any sense. But look, it's better. So now we're gonna make little, little circles and the teardrop shape and flatten out to make that little lighter fur than uh, the lions have on the belly, just to even make a little bit more detail to give a little bit more color to make a little bit more cuter. And then we're just gonna place right there. I'm making an, a, small, a small size just for the sake of the video, but if you want to make bigger, you can make bigger, you can use foam inside, whatever you, you need to do it. We're going to put a little tiny lighter white right there and open up with up and down motion just to make the mouth. And now we're going to make a roll with the same light color and we're going to go up and down with the back of your brush and flat the rest. It's We want to make like an O8 shape. A flat shape that's gonna be the two um little face of the lion so when you do like this you kind of make it's easier for you to get the metal and make it both sides the same or at least the same thickness and now we're gonna place right in the face I'm just going to use my ball tool to mark where the eyes are going to be. And the eyes, when you're making baby things, are very apart and the side of the, the face. Because make the eyes a little bigger and they make them a little cuter. And now we're going to make another roll with a lighter color. color and we're going to cut it in the middle to be sure that the two pieces are the same. And that's going to be the front little part of the, uh, the lion's feet. So we're gonna just set aside just like that and we're gonna finish soon. So you put it aside and we're going to start with the yellow and a long teardrop shape without the top part. And you can, I use the back on my paintbrush or any brush I have because it's thinner than my finger. So it's easier for you to make, but if, if you don't have it, you can use your finger. One side we're gonna flat and we're gonna bend to make the back of uh, the back legs so you make the row and then you go up and down up and down up and down this big part we flatten out to make a circle and we bend it up so it's kind of the little leg and the little you know the side of the butt when the cat sit down and now we're gonna make another bow of the yellow and we're gonna flatten out a little longer than it's gonna be the front paw and we're gonna need another one So now we're gonna make two little balls and we're gonna use something round it. I'm using the ball tool, but you can use anything round it. And we're gonna cut one of the sides flat for the ears. When you make one of the sides flat, it's easier for you to glue on the head. So that's why you do that. And we're gonna set all the side and we're gonna put this little lion like a puzzle together. And now I'm making two little the light balls like we did that one for the the other paws and a little ball for the ears just to make the inside the ear a little lighter color to look cute and now all those little parts of the paw that we set apart we are just gonna mark the fingers so we need four of them um, two a little bit bigger from the back side and two a little bit smaller from the you know the two front paws and I'm just marking three lines Just like that. 
And now I'm making two little white balls to place the hole that we left for the eyes. With a little glue, I'm going to place the little lighter part that we made for the paws right in front of it like he's sitting down. And a little bit more glue on the side to glue on the body. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And we kind of gluing it on the back, you know, side more to the back than to the front because we have the other two legs that we need to place in the front, but you don't wanna hide his belly and everything. So kind of put it in the side more towards the back. And then we're gonna put the second one. Now with the front legs, we're gonna do the same. Use a little glue or a little water. But before that, I'm just gonna cut a little piece to be a little flatter. I don't think that's a word to make flat. So it's easier for you to put the, the other lighter piece of the pot. And now I'm going to put a little glue and we're gonna place that lighter part right there in the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing the other side. And now we're gonna place between the belly and the back paws. Paws. <laughs> Just like that. And you put the other one. If your clay is not like soft really soft and gooey you can use a little bit of glue or water now i'm making uh i'm using the head and we're gonna place the ears so we're gonna put a little bit of glue and glue them right in the diagonal of the eyes So now with the ball tool or a tool pick, anything you have home, we're just going to make some little dots on the face just to look like this a little bit more details. With the orange, we're going to make a little bow and a triangle for the nose. And we're going to place right there in that indentation that we left on the face. So now we're gonna make a very long snake for the tail. And we're gonna flat then a little bit of a circle of orange. And we're gonna cover wrapping the tail around to make the little fur that they have on the back of the tail. And now I'm just gonna mark with the tool just to give a little bit more details. Set aside, and now we're gonna make balls, teardrop shape, and flat. You're gonna need to make, I don't know how many, but enough to go all around his face. So I will make a bunch of them, and then we're gonna start placing in the back of the head to make the little hair that the lions have. If you're making a girl, we don't need this part, but if you're making a lion, then it's a little boy, we're gonna need that. I just twist it a little bit the tail just to don't be flat on my topper after. And now we're gonna start make, gluing the little um, petals. It looks like a petal. <laughs> then we made it a bunch of them and we're gonna go all around gluing a little bit on the back. So now we have all around press on the table. And I'm gonna pla place two little dots for the eyes. You can also wait to dry and use a pen or a paint or acrylic paint as always. And now I place the two pick on the body in a little bit of glue to place the head. And we're gonna place right there and you can even put a circle like a flat circle on the yellow on the back if you think 
then you want to cover a little bit more and we're gonna place his tail and he is done i hope you guys can use him for baby shower for candles for party favors whatever you guys need to do with him he's very cute and you can make any color you can make a girl or a boy just getting all the hair out of him and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and be part of our tube family and don't forget also to give me a little thumbs up because that really helps me to bring more and more tutorials for you guys and if you're looking for any link or material or information is under the show more you can find everything there and just leave me a comment to let me know what you like the video and what you want to see thank you so much guys and i talk to you guys pretty soon bye